What's up with super attack peas? Why are there so many of them? Why are they so cheap now? Short answer, some users duplicated thousands of super attack peas, handed them out like candy, and the Neopets team failed to clean them up and eventually declared them all fair game. The long answer begins in 2014 after Viacom sold Neopets to Jumpstart and the whole site had to be moved to new servers. Shortly after the server transition, and likely because of it, some users discovered a method for duplicating items, but they kept quiet about the whole thing for a few weeks as they worked their way up the ladder to the more expensive items. The gallery of one of the main perpetrators was worth over 600 billion Neo points by the time the account was frozen. Of course, prices dropped as the dupes flooded the market and never got cleaned up, so this gallery would be worth far less at current prices. The perpetrators started with code stones, then paintbrushes and avatar pet pets, then hidden tower weapons, on to more expensive weapons, and finally the big three avatar items. Only after duplicating thousands of super attack peas did these users finally make their actions known. It started with a shop full of rare items, followed by a screenshot of the sales history for some extra fun. As word spread, the users opened the floodgates and started releasing duped items through the auction house, the money tree, and the trading post. They also released the method by which they were duplicating items so other users could add to the chaos. After a week of this, TNT finally patched the exploit and froze the most egregious abusers, but the super attack feeds were still out there and TNT's solution was to simply tell people to discard any illegitimate items they may have bought. So of course everyone kept their illegitimate items and TNT considered the problem solved. About a year later, there was a bug with the super shop wizard that allowed you to see unpriced items in user shops. Searching for super attack peas showed just how unsolved the problem really was, and it certainly didn't help that Neopet's support kept giving the all clear to super attack peas being sold at half price by otherwise empty accounts. After a year of players contentiously buying and selling illegitimate super attack peas, TNT finally weighed in on the issue in an editorial. The official statement was that any items sold at a fair price with no other suspicious activity going on would not be punished. It's important to note that during the first major duplication incident 10 years prior, the previous staff set a very harsh precedent for not only deleting illegitimate items, but also punishing those who bought them. Regardless of whether or not the user paid full price for an item, TNT would either delete the item without reimbursement, or they would just freeze the account. But the good faith of this new approach was lost on us, and it was viewed as legitimizing all the hundreds, if not thousands, of duplicated super attack peas floating around the site. Fair price is a very subjective term, and because TNT plays no role in determining prices, it was left up to the users to decide what a fair price would be. Ironically, this editorial answer resulted in an 85% decrease in the value of the Super Attack P. From 2 billion Neo points at its peak, the Super Attack P slowly dropped to 800 million after the new Battle Dome came out. It fell further to 300 million after the duplication glitch, but before TNT weighed in on the issue, and it quickly settled at 50 million Neo points after the editorial answer. The price rose back up to 100 million amidst the plot hype, but even with that bump, it leaves an oddity in the price to power distribution of the top three rungs of the weapon ladder. The other two attack peas, along with the Grapes of Wrath, were all released to the cove as well, and these rank as the second and third strongest weapons, but each of these garners a price at least double that of the much stronger super attack pea. At this point, it's too late for any sort of cleanup, and it looks like the weapon that was once the goat of the Battle Dome is now destined to remain a black sheep. But this whole saga and the lasting impact it's had on the battling community raise concerns about how this iteration of TNT will handle a situation like this in the future, as dupe dates have happened before and are bound to happen again.